here we are going to talk about skimming. So when you're skimming, skimming means your um kumbaga binabrowse mo yung iyong references. You're not essentially reading through all of them. Because if you read through all of them, you might not have the time, diba? Or the expertise to understand what's written. So there are times that really you're going to be skimming a lot. But dun naman sa mga parts na naiintindihan mo, you can, you can spend time to read those. So here, the tip is to use a system for organizing what you have read. Dito gumamit ako ng different colors, highlighters, dito sa PDF file na meron ako. So, I highlighted the screen kasi ina-explain ito. Bakit? Bakit nga ba dumami? Or ano yung katunayan na dumami nga yung naglalaro during um, COVID-19 pandemic? So, right here, the research is showing statistics. There is 30% higher traffic, 35% higher usage. Because I know that in some way, I can use this in explaining na relevant talaga yung problema. And then right here, the research is presenting different studies in a, uh, related doon sa aking topic. And also explaining, o oh, bakit nga ba naglalaro yung mga players ng mas matagal during the pandemic? Sabi dito, people are now housebound and there are few leisure activities. Also, playing mobile games is encourage as well para ilimit yung spread ng virus because you don't have to go outside to play diba online games nagpresent siya ng mga positive benefits of playing according to other researchers pwede siya maging educational physical and therapeutic so hinahilight natin yan but also kita mo dito hindi siya one sided sabi niya however excessive, excessive gaming can be problematic it can cause lack of sleep low school well being and so on so I highlighted them blue. There are terms that I am that I encountered for the first time, but I'm also curious about them. To the detail, sleep hygiene. So I I, uh, I highlighted it yellow. And then towards the end, actually, important itong nasa and the final thoughts. So kung ito yung conclusion ng researcher, sabi niya dapat tao um, magfocus don sa mga individuals na hindi masyadong healthy yung paggamit sa online games because they may be suffering from mental health issues. So maybe my topic can now evolve from why do people play or excessive, excessively play games um, during COVID-19 or during the pandemic. Maybe it can evolve to something related to mental health, di ba? So what is the state of mental health of people who are addicted to um, playing or on playing mobile games during the pandemic. So yung topic na binigay sa inyo, it doesn't have to be the topic na gagawin mo throughout the whole semester. So surely it can evolve, di ba? Don't expect this to be a straightforward process. There's really going to be a lot of back and forth when doing research. Okay, so to be honest, it's really going to be difficult um, reading research paper such as this so you're going to have to have you need to have a lot of patience when dealing with them the introduction you should try very hard to read them because they will give you the needed background information about the topic so some sections i expect that you wouldn't understand them because you don't have the concepts pa to understand like for example in the methods section there will be table that won't make sense to you. Hierarchical regressions, of course, I don't expect that you would understand them. So you can um, you can skip those. But as much as you can, read the discussion. Because usually, dito ina explain nila yung naging result. And then, they are relating it to other research papers. Also, read the limitations. Ito yung naging kakulangan ng study na to, and it can give suggestion on how you should conduct your topic or your study. So, according to the last sentence, ito sabi dito, Although the sample was large-scale, a sizable majority of students participated. 
and the low average sample age demonstrates the sample was not nationally representative so it's it's telling you that this study is about um ang naging participants nila ay predominantly mga students later on if you will read more about this topic you will notice that most of the participants ng mga studies ay laging student so maybe you can decide na ah, para sa study ko ang gagawin ko ay mga toddlers di ba o kaya mga unemployed so your research will be beneficial kasi wala pang gumagamit na or wala pa nagko-consider na ganung mga uri ng respondents for a research like this so you should take a look at the limitations